next story is out of the USA. We've got Dave Dubenmeyer trashes Muslims in politics. Multiculturalism is cultural AIDS. So if you guys don't remember who David Dubenmeyer is, he is our Christian right-wing activist that we spoke about a few weeks back, who, who told everyone that masturbation uh, makes you gay. He is now on a show called Pass the Salt Live. It's a webcast um, that Muslims like Ihan Omar should be banned from holding elected office in the in the country because multiculturalism is cultural aid. Uh, he said that there should be no Muslim in office in America, no Muslims in office in America. That's the way that it was set up because multiculturalism is AIDS. How many times do I have to repeat this? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's basically all he said over and over and over again. That's not me glitching out on you guys. Uh, he just kept saying it. So, um, okay. I mean... Well, I mean, okay. So, I mean, is the interesting thing is that our community is going to be split on this. Half of our community is going to agree with this. Seriously? Uh, you think half would agree with this? Oh, yeah. You... I, Half of our community agree with this. The top comment actually agrees with this. The second top comments also agree with this. And half of them will think this is, you know, racist bigotry. What is, what do you think I stand on this? Where do you think I stand on this? Uh, I don't think you would say that no Muslim should hold office in the U.S. Oh, well, okay, no, the multiculturalism one. Oh, I, I know where you stand on multiculturalism. We oh, yeah, actually, he, so he said two things. That you're right. You have to respond to them separately. So what I was saying, half of our community support this, was the multiculturalism is uh, is cultural AIDS part. That's what half of our community agree with. Do you agree with that part? Multiculturalism is cultural AIDS? No, it, I is. don't. Okay. So, so here's the thing. I'll respond to Muslim holding office of, Second, but with regards to the first part, multiculturalism is, cult uh, is cultural AIDS. The thing is that culture has two meanings, and these two meanings are so different that I think we, you really actually need two words for it, okay? If you're ta when you're talking about culture, if you're talking about w a way of living, uh, uh, values, values as a guide to life, that's one meaning of culture. And another meaning of culture is has more to do with dance, music, food, art, clothes, poetry, and that stuff, okay? They are they're 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 very different. And when it comes to values, I agree that there are some cultures that are superior to others. And the ones when it comes to value part, the value part. And when it comes to the ones that are inferior, they should be dismissed. They're not, they shouldn't be welcomed in any society, okay? Because they are, we are talking about ways to, you know, values. There, we have data and evidence that these values work and these values don't work. You should not encourage, promote, in fact, you should stand against and speak against values that are harmful to a society, okay? So when it comes to values, I agree with that. But when it comes to the other definition of culture, when it comes to dance, music, poetry, food, clothing. That stuff's I, amazing. Yeah, I mean, that's just you know, fun. The more of that, the better. The more yeah. variety in that, the better. Um, I would disagree if it, I, I don't, when people think that that's a, that's a benefit, other than entertainment value, I don't think there's much benefit to that. So I don't think multi, in, in that definition, multiculturalism adds any strength to a society, but I think it's a byproduct of progress. It doesn't cause progress, it's a byproduct of progress. Throughout history, if you look at the most advanced cities, or nation states, or the most advanced uh, city states, sorry, like if you look at Rome, if you look at Baghdad, um, when they became extremely rich and powerful and, and progress, that's where all the you when you went to those cities you saw many different people you saw many different food you saw people just coming to that city so um you know people unlike the cities next to them people look different right so when you have a lot of progress multi, it's not like multiculturalism causes progress it's the other way around it's a sign of progress 
But when it comes to its benefits in that situation, the only benefit is just more fun. You get to enjoy more food, you get to enjoy see more art, you get to enjoy see, you know, you get to have sushi and kebab at the same time or in the same streets. So it's fun. It's not that, you know, but, but in this, but it's very important. The more important part is the first definition. The value part, yes, there are some values that are superior, but this guy's value is shit anyways. This guy is a Christian fundamentalist. So when it comes right. to values, when I'm talking about values that needs to be thrown away, you know, thrown in the garbage, his Christian values includes them. Um, but with regards to the second point, um, Muslims shouldn't be holding office. Um, I think Islam is ridiculous ideology and believing in it is actually like it's absolutely insane for me to and not insane again. That's a that's a medical term. I'm going to use it. It's absolutely ridiculous that anybody would believe in any of the claims of Islam. Um, however, I, people are, I've seen, I know people that are incredibly dumb about something and incredibly smart about something else. You could be a 9-11 uh, trufer, you know, that, no, no, I'm not going to say that second one because YouTube will destroy us, but... <clears throat> Um, you could believe in extreme nonsense while be really smart. You could be, have a PhD. You could be a brain surgeon that believes in creationism, as we found that, right? Being a brain surgeon takes a lot of, um, you know, you have to be smart. You have to pass a shitload of exams. Uh, you have to do a lot of studies. But how is that possible while you could, you're actually a successful brain surgeon and yet a creationist? How is that possible? Because you're extremely smart about something and extremely dumb about something else. My own father has, um, has a PhD uh, and he's also a medical doctor at the same time. And he has published a lot of articles. But there are some things in politics that I'm not going to say that he believes in that are absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe that he believes in those things, right? So... It's, imp it's possible for people to be smart in something and extremely dumb in something else. And that's why I could tell you that you could be a Christian or a Muslim or a Hindu or a Jewish politician, very religious politician that is really doing good in politics and is really helping your community and still have extremely w weird beliefs. You could be, you know, so yeah, I think Muslims, even though, you know, you could be like, well, if you think Islam is ridiculous, you could be like, Armin, how could you think a Muslim could hold office? Do you want a politician that believes in these ridiculous stuff to be, to hold office? And again, I say, yeah, it's, pos I mean, it's possible for somebody to be, have very dumb beliefs, but be very good at something else. It's possible. And I would I would even vote for a Muslim politician, um, even if with, while criticizing their ridiculous beliefs, if I see that in their politics and the things that they're doing, they're very good at it, and they're actually, you know, Bringing something good to 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 the to to the country or to wherever they're going to be a politician in. Um, so let me see. Michael is saying so we have a conflict of two culture Christian Muslim. Should there be a talk to discuss manners and values uh, of the mm, of the new culture that is multicultural? Hmm. And he continues as saying, we need to discuss a new manners of the new culture that is mu multicultural. I don't know what, you, what that means. Shopam is saying, I, but I read it for people that might understand it. Shopam is saying, I agree with Armin's stance on multiculturalism. It's annoying that it needs to be so often st uh, stated that culture is not just one thing. Okay. Um, good. Um, the top, again, the top comments agree with this. Top comments on Facebook is saying, good job, Mr. Dave. What is his last name? Dub, Dub and Meyer. 100% accurate. Um, Alda is saying, yes, yes, yes. Lance is saying, I partially agree. There should be absolutely no religion in politics at all. Um, well, I'm not going to get into that. That's a whole other conversation. But I general, I, with that, I agree. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. 
In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.